Sagittarius. What's going on, my loves? We're checking the energy. We're trying to see who's in your energy tonight. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I'm so grateful. Okay. Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side. And if this is the energy of someone that you know of, okay, place the energy over there, okay? Now, I'm just going to put the cards down. And we're going to talk about them, okay? All right. All right, so right out the gate, we got someone here. Um, that doesn't like to tell you what they're feeling, Sagittarius. Um, this is a person that you may not have spoke to for quite some time because they felt like uh, either you didn't want to speak to them or that they have messed up in a way to where um, they could not approach you. Um, this is an energy that even though you were trying to make something work, this person may have detached from you, okay, mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Um, and when they detached, okay, um, they went into a situation to where they needed to make sure that they weren't speaking about you, they weren't bringing you up to the other person, etc., etc. Let me just fix these cards. They were not mentioning you to the person that they went to, okay? Uh, rightfully so, because like, who who wants to hear about? Um, someone else feeling some sort of way about another person when they're trying to be in a relationship, okay? I do feel like this is a relationship, though, okay? So they did go off, and either they resumed a relationship with someone or they got into a fresh relationship with someone. Take it how it resonates, okay? Now, those feelings that they had from you, they were able to shelf for the while. They were able to stop thinking about you uh, long enough for them to get in tune and to get um, acclimated with this person. Okay. They got attached to that person. and But first they had to detach from you and become independent from whatever type of relationship they had with you, situationship, etc. Okay. The spirit says, oh no. You just don't get to do that to a person to get them to love you, to get them to care for you, to get them to bond to you. And then you detach when you feel like you want to. So what spirit did here, okay, was make this person start thinking about you uncontrollably, right? So if you guys are um, thinking about a person, they just keep randomly coming into your mind. This is the person I'm speaking of right now. And the reason why they're randomly speaking or about you or thinking about you is because spirit has put this in their heart. This is their karma. Like, how dare you hurt someone the way that you hurt uh, Sagittarius? And then you feel like, okay, yeah, now I'm going to think about them because I know I've done something that I should not have done. Okay. Now, Spirit is focusing on this independent card. This may have had something to do with children. That this person may have walked away from you and may have walked into the arms of someone else. Okay? Um, as they were out here with you, acting like they did not have an attachment elsewhere, they walked into a situation to where they became dependent or had a dependent um, in this situation, okay? So where they thought that they were doing something to where they were pulling away from you, they were actually going into another connection, okay? So Spirit says, you know what? I don't like that either. You need to understand some lessons. Pull this person through a dark night of the souls, this person is now changing from the inside out. They're, they're changing from um, their thought patterns and their actions and their ways. 
right, to their movements. So whoever it is that they're with right now, I hate to say this, Sagittarius, but whoever it is that they're with right now feels like this person is already with you because they feel like their person is loyal to you and somehow they found some opportunity to be with you behind their back. Okay, this is not the case, though, because I see that you guys are not with this person. This awakening has caused this person to slow down and to look at how they were treating people from the start to the finish of whatever type of connection that they had. They're now nostalgic about people, places, things that they were never nostalgic about because, again, this is a person that never allowed anyone to know what they were feeling because it just wasn't cute. It just wasn't cool. And this is a person that felt like they were more macho, even if they were a woman, okay? Like, yeah, I'm not going to put my heart on my sleeve. I don't tell nobody how I feel. You know, I've been hurt many times, so this is how I'll move type of energy is coming through. But this person is going through a transformation and there's nothing that they can do about it. Now, as they sit in this relationship with this other person, they're thinking about growing old and how things would be if they could grow old with you, Sagittarius. They now see you as someone that they can grow old with as opposed to before they left you alone of them seeing or saying to themselves like this person doesn't fit in my life. As it is right now, I would have to explain too much to Sagittarius. I would have to get them to a place where they would accept a lot of things that they currently, I know they were not be going through, going for, right? This person felt like you were not as lenient as the person that they went through or to, okay? And they felt like they could not be 100 with you because you would not be having it whatever the details, right? This person on the other side allows them to move detached and independent. However, this person has also attached themselves to them and then has something to do with a child, okay? Um, let's dig a little deeper here. I see that this person has many, has had many opportunities to speak with you, Sagittarius, but they chose not to. Or they had many opportunities to tell you the truth, but they chose not to. Because it just wasn't the bro code. Okay? Okay. Uh. Okay, so they're with a person that threatens them uh, with court, with taking money, real estate, taking the children um, away from them if they leave. Right? This is a person that puts on like they care about them. However, um, this person does not care about them as much as uh, they put on. Right? Right? They just have a sense of saying, you know what, I'm not going to let this person go. This person takes care of my house. This person pays my bills. This person is there for me and my kids or child. Take it how it resonates. I'm not sure which one this is, um, but I do see children here, okay? They have the whole stance on, if I can't have them, no one can. So I will mess up everything for this person if they feel like they want to leave me. I will tarnish their reputation. I will talk crap about them. I will make it so their life is hell um, if they try to leave me. And your person knows this, right? Look, I've been thinking of ways to ruin you, Divine Feminine. Now, let's get to this one, okay? Uh, what I'm seeing here is, like I said, this person that your person is with, and I'm going to call them your person because that's who's coming through your reading. They believe that their person is messing with you right now because your person's attention has been nostalgic about you. So their person feels like, oh, well, I'm going to do everything to, to sabotage this person that I feel like my person is trying to be with or trying to, you know, creep with or trying to um, go back to. 
Now, if you guys have been feeling aches, pains, if you've been having random headaches, if you've been having random sharp pains, stuff of that nature, it's this person doing a little bit of spell work on their side because now they want to wreak havoc on you. And they're not only doing this, but they're getting help from family members. Okay? I feel like your person has messed around and has went off and got themselves attached um, to some sort of coven. Right? I only comment on these pictures to make you feel bothered. Okay. So some of you, all right, may have caught this person on social media, this, this woman or this man that's connected to your energy. And you may have seen a woman or a man that is posting on their social media status. Okay. This person may be doing this um, to have the opportunity to break the nostalgic bond between you and this person and to make you upset that your person is now detached from you, okay? Your person has saw this as well and in, in this information on social media and, you know, they keep their mouth shut because they're not able to say what they would like to say, okay? They're not able to, to um, express themselves the way that they would like to. Uh, because this person has control. I feel like whoever this person is, they absolutely have control of your person's money. They have control of the household. And with those threats, okay, I've threatened the divine masculine that I'll do something stupid if he leaves me. With those threats, your person doesn't know if they should go forward or if they should hold steady. Okay, so this is the energy that's coming through. Um, your person is like really unstable with their thoughts. They're going back and forth trying to figure out what they would like to do. They're being pulled to come toward you because you're the person now, since they went through this uh, dark night of the souls and this awakening, they now see you in the different light and they see that your heart, your soul um, was kind, okay? And that's the biggest thing here that's coming through for me. A kind spirit, a kind soul, right? Like the nostalgic part is about everything that you've done. Mind you, we had loyal here. You showed this person what true loyalty is. And I'm not sure what it is that you did for this person, Sagittarius. But when it comes to your loyalty, you showed this person that something is not only beautiful, but it is possible. Okay? Um, so they don't come from the world of people that are loyal. And they took your loyalty. Okay? Look, superficial just fell out. They were very superficial with you, but they took your loyalty for granted. Okay? And they felt like they had a sure thing with this person that they went off to, right? And now the shocking part of this, thank you, Spirit, for coming out with this, is that they made the wrong choice. Now, I know a lot of tarot readers um, come out and tell you guys uh, that, that uh, there's a person around that may have made uh, the wrong choice about you. But, you know, I'm going to break this down. Because they are so obsessed with you now that they feel like they have to watch you. They're watching you, okay, because they know that you have a certain value about them that they cannot replace with another person. Now, I'm not saying that this person tried to replace you, but I feel like they miss you so much and you may feel that tug on your energy or this person may pop up in your energy so heavy. To where you can't get them off your mind. And it's because of the level of, of spying they're doing on you. And the level of um, regret that they have based on what they've done. So here they are. They're forcefully um, going into your energy. Right? So I'm going to think about Sagittarius all day and all night. And I'm going to will them towards me or I'm going to make it so that they contact me because, you know, this is what I'm doing. OK, so what this. So this person is being very manipulative. 
okay, with their energy uh, coming towards you. Because their MO is that they can get you to come towards them if they keep thinking about you or, or manifesting you, should I say. Um, and then you'll pop up, okay? Um, so they're trying to force you as well. Not only are they just forcefully in your energy, um, because I feel like this is not a person that you're caring about like that. And you're not really thinking about them like that, Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like they're trying to force you to come towards them because they don't know what's going on in your life with this moon energy. They don't know if you've moved on. They don't know um, any of the details that you so willingly gave them before, right? So they're like, yeah, what can I do? You know, I can manifest them. Um, this is also a person that you may have told before that you can feel their energy and they may have told you that they can feel yours, okay? That's not going to be for everyone. Um, but I do feel like there's there's an energetic connection here uh, to where two people can feel the other one. Um, and this person feels you detaching. They feel you, um, you know, worrying about what you worry about. And it's not them, okay? Um, so they're bothered by that. And they feel threatened because, you know, this person cares about you. And they don't want to lose you. But they've already lost you. And that's the crazy part, right? So, like, we have, I'm going through an awakening, right? So this is clarifying the awakening card uh, that we have here, okay? So I'm going through an awakening. So that's the clarifier. Thank you, spirit right? Um, you mean the world to me. I just don't know how to show you. So in other words, yeah, after thinking about you and after being, you know, uh, downright disrespectful and rude to you in the past, I've rethought everything. And now I understand how much you actually mean to me, right? But I can't tell you because I'm suppressing my energy. So I don't know what to say yet. Um, but this is something that you don't know. And if I can go back, if I can go back, what I would do is that I would marry you, you know, now that I know what I know, um, because I didn't understand that the person that I walked towards would be giving me this much grief. Okay. So this person, um, is saying that they, they may even be telling their person, that they wish that they'd have married you if they are married to them instead of them, right? Uh, which is causing that person to want to come for you, Sagittarius. When when you're over here minding your business and you're not even checking for this person, okay? Uh, this is actually coming through. So let's get a couple more cards here. And then we'll tie this up. I appreciate you guys watching. Okay, so six of wands, right? This person is giving you, you know, the recognition, um, the thought, okay? The consideration that they've never given you because now they see you in a different light. They can see how good you truly are, all right? They can see that their perceptions about you was totally off, okay? So if this is an energy coming through, where they thought someone was better or they thought that they were doing something that was for their highest good, they now know that they had the wrong thought and that they had the wrong direction, okay? Now, their intuition is now telling them that they need to be with you because you're the one that they love and that they need to come towards you and offer, you know, you something, okay, to make a movement towards you. Okay, to say, hey, you know what, I know that you are now, um, not now, but I know that you are a kind person, um, a loving, a caring person, a sensitive person, right? I understand who you are now and through this psychic, through this psychic um, intervention that I'm having with this awakening or whatever it is that's happening to me, because I do feel like also this is not a spiritual person, but they're being dragged through it. OK, to give them clarity and give them um, a spiritual path. I feel like this person is fighting tooth and nail, though. OK, but they know that you understand what is happening to them and they want to speak to you about it because they know that you can give them direction um, and their intuition is pulling them towards you. OK, now. With this two of wands, they know that they have two paths that they can go down. They know that they have something to do. 
um, they have a decision to make. Either they stay where they are or they do something different with coming towards you. Um, but this person, they've always, up until now, had this grass is greener on the other side mentality, okay? So they really have to deal with their ego and deal with that portion of themselves to where they understand that everything is not as it seems, right? Um, and that they really should go with their intuition before they come towards you and give you the recognition that you deserve. And I feel like when they do come towards you, this is you, right? This is you. Not only do they have to make a decision, but you're like, yeah, go somewhere. You're going to have swords out. You're going to be ready to cut, okay? Um, Libra energy, that balance, right? That that justice, um, you guys are going to be making a judgment when it comes to this person. And it will be a stressful decision because out of everything that you do in a day, nowhere in that day will you be saying, oh, my ex or someone that I'm no longer dealing with is going to come and, and, and ask me either for forgiveness or to come and ask me for another chance today. That's not something that you're even thinking of. So it's going to be something that tosses you a bit, right? You're going to have to think about this. You're going to have to sit with this and make a really, really difficult, painful decision. But I do believe that you're going to do what you need to do when this person comes to you. It could be that you've already started a new relationship or you have someone on your mind that you're nostalgic about or that you want to get to know more and it will be you saying to this person, like, you know, too little, too late. Not only that, but you didn't have the loyalty for me that I had for you. So it's a no and it's a hard no. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys. Sagittarius, I'm sending you the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, please check the box below. Also, please check uh, in the box uh, for my business items, body butters and stuff of that nature. Okay. So you guys love and light. You guys take care.